What's going on guys, welcome back. So the beta version of One UI 4 for the Z Flip 3 as well as the Z Fold 3 just dropped in the US. And I believe it's only available if you have the unlocked versions or the T-Mobile or Sprint variants. As you can see here, it's a pretty extensive list. So I'm gonna go over some of the, of the main features that has been added or improved. But if you want to see the whole list, here it is. All right, so first what's been added is also new for Android 12. It's called Color Palette. And this basically allows you to theme your phone around your wallpaper. Just go to wallpaper and style. And then here you can see it's color palette. So the colors of your wallpaper will be represented in the menus, the notification panel, as well as the backgrounds and some system apps. Next, you get enhanced privacy and permissions. So now whenever an app is using your microphone or your camera, you'll be notified by a green dot that will appear in the top right corner of your screen. And you'll be able to turn this off right from the quick panel. You now have the option of letting an app only use your approximate location instead of your exact location. So for instance, the weather app will not need to know your exact location, just your general area. So if I go into Instagram settings and go into permissions and go to location and deselect use precise location it will now only use my general location also you now have clipboard protection and what this does is you will now have the option to be notified whenever an app accesses anything that you have copied to the clipboard in another app all right, so Samsung's keyboard also received an update. So now you have a faster access to your GIFs and emojis. And what's new with One UI 4 is emoji pairs. And this basically add, lets you add two emojis together. And it gives them an animation. So now if we move over to the home screen, the widget layout section also has been revised and made into a list view. And the widgets also has been tweaked with more rounded corners and updated design. And the lock screen has also been revised with more access and control over your widgets. The music widget now lets you control your audio output, whether it be your buds or your speaker. In the camera app, the layout has been more simplified. The lens icons have been changed to magnification icons. And now when you press and hold the shutter button, you can set it to lock and it will keep recording. Before, once you press the shutter button and you let go, it will stop recording. So that's a nice, that's a nice upgrade. You can now add or disable shooting modes in single take. A level has been added to the pro mode once you turn on grid lines and also portrait mode now works for pets on both the cameras in the back as well as the front The photo and video editor now brings even more controls and features, and you can now change or remove the date, time, and location of pictures in the gallery app, as well as revert to the original picture after it's been remastered. All right, so now when you're sharing content, you can customize which apps you would want to show first. And I specifically like this because before, it would just show, it would just show you apps that are barely used. So now that's a nice added feature. Now in the calendar app, 
you can recover deleted events and you'll be able to share your events with other Samsung users as well as quick add events from straight from your home screen. All right, so Samsung's internet now has a search widget, which is similar to a Google search bar, as well as search suggestions. And now, whenever you close the app in private mode, it will automatically open back up in private mode the next time you use it. Device care brings a more cleaner interface with an easier glance at your overall phone health. Samsung's health has also been redesigned with a new My Page tab that shows you your health, your stats, your achievements, your personal best and progress. Starting challenges has also been made easier by sharing a link and even more food options has also been added. Bixby routines has also been improved with more conditions, actions, control, combinations and customizations. And in accessibility, a new mode has been added that's called extra dim and this basically dims the screen lower than your lowest brightness settings. So if I go ahead and lower my brightness, you can see it's already dim, but it will get even dimmer if I select extra dim. And you can now pin window options to the top of a pop-up window. Picture in Picture has now been improved with the ability to pinch in or out to make the video bigger or smaller. Last but not least is Safety and Emergency. This is a new menu that lets you manage your emergency contacts and safety information. All right, so that was just a quick little overview of what was included for One UI 4 Beta for the Z Fold 3 as well as the Z Flip 3. But if you'd like to see the full list, I'll make sure to put a link of it in the description as well. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming videos.